I said, that's exactly what God is going to do. Amen. Say, I claim it. I claim it. And it's for me in the name of Jesus. God will command, turn around in every of my situation. Say that to yourself. God will command and turn around in every of my situation. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Simon said, Put out into the deep water and let down. And Jesus said, And, and let down the net for a cash. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night. Working hard doesn't equal to success. It doesn't. It's a blessing of God that makes riches. Yes. Some people back where I come from, they will, well, all they will do is just to know people. They will go to the secretariat, they will get contract. It might be contract of digging. The person that is that wants to dig, if you see the hand, it's as soft as anything. <laughs> then they will tell, okay, you are going to dig from here to Sliver Spring. We say, oh, that's not a big deal. Don't worry, I will do it. He will employ people that will be digging for him. The people that are doing the work, it will be hard for them to even spend uh, uh, 100 naira for food. But the man who got the contract will be in the Mercedes and just be inspecting. Why, why don't you? This place is not deep enough. Amen. 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 God will shape your situation. Amen. Your situation will be a situation of employer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every bill that is difficult for you to pay right now, God of heaven will pay it for you. Amen. Don't plug anything on yourself. Amen. Amen. What you don't have power for, don't do it. I want you to notice two things, two principles in this story. One, God will use failure to get your attention. God always do that. If you don't have any failure, your attention will not be drawn to anything. It is when you have failure, then you say, it is when the prodigal son has failure. That is when they turn to God. Hello? Yes. Because when things were still rosy, he was renting different hotels. Where he sleeps today is not where he's going to sleep tomorrow. But immediately, God took attention. He said, oh, in my father's house, there are many, many laborers. They eat and even dash out. But look at me here. I feel of hunger. Well, I will make a decision. And the decision is that I'm going to stand up. I will go back to my father. And I will tell him, Father, I am not worthy. I have messed up. I have taken what I'm supposed to take in the, in the future. But still yet, just consider me as one of your laborers. Because he knows the position he was at that time, he still was more than the position of the laborers of his father. Amen. 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 Failure sometimes gets our attention to God. If we don't have failure, I remember there was a time uh, I was uh, with one relative of mine, the Jehovah Witness, you know they preach a lot. All over. So there is a man called Adetujo, he's very rich. And he said, Jehovah with. So the wife, they, they, they would put their messages somewhere, they would be walking all around preaching. So when he, he came to, to a brother of mine, who I was with him, he said, Don't preach to us, now you are already, you are okay. We, that, we are not okay, just leave us, let us be doing our community work. Leave us here. <laughs> Amen. He said they are, they are, they are okay. But instead of rushing.
worship to God is, is, a, is a pity that man die, that, that man died in his, in his poor, poor body. He died there. Some people will say I'm, comf I'm, I'm comfortable with my, with my poor body. I'm comfortable with the situation I am. It is when we are not comfortable with the situation we are, that is when we are going to cry unto God. And immediately we cry unto God, it says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33, say, call unto me, and I will do what? And I will help you. It is when we call, that is when it is going to answer. When we don't call, it's not going to answer. Amen. Amen. Don't give up, but do what? Get up. Get up! Some people, when they go to different places to collect application, fill application, they will say, right now, I'm tired. They will say, I'm not going to do anything again. If they still see somebody giving them food. <laughs> but in this country, if you don't see anybody giving you food, you have no choice. You'll be going all about. Amen? Amen? Amen. I did driving test for about four times before I made it. When I was doing it, I was about to fed up. I said, I will not do it again. I said, I will not do it again. Until I was encouraged and went to another city. I got mine in uh, Russia, Minnesota. That's where I got my driver license. I just turned it in when I came in. So when you are doing some things, you would fed up. And when you relate your, your case to your friend or fellow, they, they, will, they will justify you that if you are fed up, you, you try. <laughs> you try. But you don't. The word, the word of God is don't, don't do what? Don't give, up. don't give up. Don't give up. When you don't give up, I know my God, he will never give up. Is there any time you kneel down, you want to pray, God say, don't, no need that, but I already give up. <laughs> Anybody else, has we ever heard that voice? That, why are you kneeling down? Why are you praying? Don't pray any longer, I already give up. He will never give up. It's only we that give up. And when we give up, then Satan will say, oh, that's good. I conquer. And you will be wallowing in your problem. And you will continue in it. Amen. Amen. So, failure gets our attention to God. Peter was tired. He was empty handed and disappointed. Maybe you are in that situation too. When Jesus spoke to him, sometimes when you are not disappointed, when you are still okay, you, the word of God may not even come to you. When, when people begin to say different type of words that here I must not even hear to you. That is when you will rush to God. Amen? Amen. Somebody push Hannah to God. They call the name of that woman Perina. You remember? No. If she was not pushed, she would not go and cry where she cried. And God hear her cry. God will hear your cry. Amen. I say, God will cry, hear your cry. Amen. Maybe you are doing the work that you are not supposed to be doing. Maybe you need a lifting. And the only person who lifts is God. No man can lift. Only God. Many people that have made promises to you, they fail because they are not God. The only person who can make promise to you and not fail is God. Some people who don't want to fail, but they fail because they are not God. Amen. Amen. <coughs> don't give up. Do what? Get up. Get up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 